if you've ever wasted time building layered materials from scratch, this is for you. Hey everyone, Hojdi here and I've made a layered material that blends the layers realistically based on height data and custom masks. In this video, I'll go over its features that make the process of creating a complex blend material at least 5 times faster and way more flexible. So let's dive in. The layer system. The material is built using Unreal Engine's material layer system, so it scales easily. We can add any number of layers we need from the material instance. It's as easy as clicking here to add a new layer, naming it, and then using the layer and the blend assets provided with the project to access all the parameters. Each layer has its own sets of parameters and they can be blended using height maps, custom masks, or both. We can swap the layers to change their order, hide and unhide them. For example, let's hide the snow layer and now let's unhide it. Or if we don't need one of the layers, we can just simply delete them. Look dev and blending. The material is set up for nanite tessellation and displacement. Under details, material property overrides, displacement scaling, we can control the displacement magnitude of the whole material. We also have parameters to control the displacement of each layer. For example, let's go under cobblestone. Here we have the displacement multiplier and the displacement offset. Now we can increase it or decrease it and we can use the offset to move the whole layer. There are several parameters to control how each layer looks and feels. For example, we can increase the saturation of the forest ground layer without affecting the other layers. We have parameters to control how each layer blends with the ones below. These parameters help us blend the layers with height data and these parameters help us blend the layer with the custom mask. The custom mask option can help us break tiling repetitions. So here let's set the mask amount to zero. We can see the repetition of the forest ground. But if I set the mask amount to one, we don't see it anymore. We can also use it to add direct details and put them exactly where we want to. For example, let's search for Unreal logo texture and let's set the and let's set the mask size to one. Here's the result. Now we can use the height parameters to have more or less of the forest ground. Texture control. The material supports both ORDP and ORM textures. We just need to enable or disable this option to toggle between them. By default it's enabled so the material uses the ORM texture. But if I disable it, you can see that now we have an ORDP and a metallic texture input. We can enable these options based on the textures we have. They let us use textures from different sources without worrying about channel format and the textures we have. These parameters can help us quickly adjust scaling and offset for each layer. And if the object is not unwrapped, we can always enable and use the triplanar projection option. We can control triplanar to be local or world space. By default, it's in world space. But we can enable this option. And now it works in local space. And for performance, we can switch between a cheap or expensive triplanar mode. 
chip uses fewer texture samples which matters for shader complexity. If I disable this option, it will use the expensive triplanar. Other features The material works with all Unreal Engine 5 versions. The parameters in the material instance are grouped and organized in a way that is easy to work with. There's an example level and a couple of material instances provided with the project to get you started. If you have any questions or issues when using the material, you can message me on Telegram or Discord and I will help you. No matter what project you're working on, this material improves your workflow and saves you a lot of time. Grab it from the link below and start creating realistic layered materials in minutes. I've made a full step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use this material. You can see it here. So click here for more Unreal stuff and thank you so much for watching. Massive shout out to my amazing supporters for making this possible. Like this video, subscribe and join our community. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. So, see you in the next one.